On 31st August 1920, the first international convention of the Negro peoples of the world, which was held in New York City, promulgated the Declaration of Rights of the Negro People of the World following discussion led by Marcus Garvey, a Jamaican political activist. On the 31st of August, we now commemorate the International Day of People of African Descent. It is a day to promote greater recognition for and celebrate the diverse heritage and contributions of people of African descent to the development of our societies. It is also a day to remember the enslavement and trade of millions of Africans and to recognize that the legacies of enslavement and colonialism have led to contemporary forms of racism, inequalities and exclusion, including systemic racism that are yet to be addressed. As we celebrate the 75th anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, let's not forget the first article proclaimed. All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and in rights. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights and the human rights treaties that follow all prohibit discrimination on the grounds of race, color, or national or ethnic origin. The Durban Declaration and Programme of Action and the Programme of Activities for the International Decade of People of African Descent provide a clear roadmap and concrete recommendations to fight racial discrimination, xenophobia and intolerance. Yet, people of African descent around the world continue to face multiple forms of racism and racial discrimination, exclusion and inequalities in all areas of life, including education, unemployment, safe and affordable healthcare and adequate housing. People of African descent also continue to be racially profiled and subjected to police violence and racist attacks. Racial discrimination is a grave human rights violation which must be stopped, addressed and redressed. Systemic racism needs a systemic response. The structure, institutions and behaviours leading to direct or indirect discrimination against people of African descent must be changed. Concrete steps to confront the legacies of the past, including colonialism and enslavement, and their lasting consequences must be taken, including through reparatory justice. Let's join forces to ensure that the voices of people of African descent and their lived experiences are heard. And demand that our governments must take urgent action and concrete measures to address their concerns. Let's continue to amplify the call of the International Decade for People of African Descent of recognition, justice and development. The UN Human Rights Office and our High Commissioner stand with people of African descent around the world and will keep promoting the full respect of their human rights and fundamental freedom. Together, we can make change happen. Together, let's fight racism.